career in the creative industries is really exciting. Knowing the pathway through to that career can be more complicated. The Federation of Drama Schools, or the FDS, is an umbrella group that brings together the UK's most prestigious training environments. Get Into Theatre is a charity whose website collates lots of resources that can support you in finding your pathway through to your career. We hope that these resources will help you forge the future that you want to see. 16 year old me always wanted to go to drama school, but I didn't know how. Mm. And honestly, I thought there was like only one path, which is to also be a lawyer. And like, <laughs> <laughs> everyone else in my family. So like, when I auditioned, I genuinely didn't think I was like going to get in. Yeah, same. Mm. And when I did, um, I think it was everything I imagined and more. Mm. And yeah, it wasn't as strict as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's like really scary and you have to be perfect and act like and talented. Like there's so much room for improvement mm. and learning. Mm. And it's training at the end of the yeah. day. It's like, you know, we're here to train. It's a very sort of good environment to make mistakes while you're still learning these things. You're not sort of, you're not in the industry um, immediately, but you're mm. in a situation that feels, is preparing you, it feels like the industry, but you can make as many mistakes as you need to and learn from those. I mean, for me, it was basically just, I wanted to find a place where I could just pursue what I love, mm -hmm. you know, my passion. And I thought I want to find a place, a safe space where I could just know that I'm here, I'm surrounded by like-minded people and that I will be surrounded by people who know what they're talking about. Yeah. yeah. That you get that degree bring me, of yeah. They can bring me mm -hmm. to a certain place that I would like to be. And I thought that would be the perfect place. Yeah. yeah it's, it's so great just being here because you know everyone wants to be here, mm -hmm. you know, and they did what it takes to get here. So you're working with people who want it just as much as you. I think, I think for me, I always wanted to start with art um, and I thought I was going to go into that. And then I started to explore drama more in high school and I did it as a youth theatre thing. Um, and I got involved in lots of theatre based things and maybe like site specific things and that got me mm -hmm. into doing acting. But then at, at first I thought then I wanted to do directing. So I went to do another course and then figured out that actually, no, I don't want to do what's around it. I want to do acting itself. And I think there's this thing for me where there was a lot of pressure to go into like an academic subject. Oh. I don't know if you guys felt that and yeah. use your grades, but actually <laughs> like I, I want to do acting. That's the thing that I love. So why can't I pursue that? Yeah. Um, I think there needs to be more of a focus on like, doing what great. you want to do rather than feeling pressured. Yeah. I took quite a different route in because I went and was a lighting technician for seven years and then reconsidered my life um, and decided to apply for drama school. So. I didn't have the same thing with like it being something that I was told about during school. And I applied, I think, at 11.57 and the deadline was midnight. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was like, yeah, it, was just, it was so close. It was like, I could just not be here if I'd been like three minutes later in my decision to be like, oh, you know what, I'll just try it. I don't think I even knew what drama school was. I think I was still like, I just had a love for acting. I just didn't know how to go about it. I didn't know kind of what to, to find or how, what to kind of get into. But like coming to yeah, doing actor training and having this experience, yeah, it was definitely was not what I would have been expecting. I thought it was gonna be like very strict, formal, you can't breathe, can't do nothing, yeah. sit up straight, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> but like it's actually so like just the environment, the vibe, the the whole attitude around it is so kind of free, which is good as an actor, you know, to kind of have that free environment to like be able to express you like you as a character and you as yourself in the room. I thought drama school was going to be so stressful. Like oh. teachers will be so strict, like they didn't care and about you or your you as a person. Mm -hmm. They just cared about your creation, what you're making, and where you can go. However, you get here and the teachers and the professors that you have care about you. They care mm -hmm. about where you're going. And they care about you as a person because you start off and they are like, who are you? You know, what's your name? Where are you from? And that create foundations of you as a person. So when you go out to the industry, you know who you are and you know like what you're gonna give to other people, you know? Yeah, yeah. like I thought in my audition, I was just like a number or like just like someone on the list, but they're really invested mm -hmm. into getting to know you. And that's something that 
it's, it's really yeah. nice. Yeah, surprising. It's just, it's like, surprising, yeah. yeah. What is your favourite part about the acting last season? Just uh, the, the sensory uh, stuff we do. Yeah. It's like, you know, we always focus on the theatrical stuff, yeah. but like simple, like touching a piece of fabric and how does that affect you and like you feel that change in your body and I feel that's really interesting like it's breaking it down and get it down to your marrow it's like it's really nice. I like that. The thing I love about like act training is is the warm vibe mm. that you develop because obviously you don't know each other at first and everyone's really nice but gradually because you're because you're working together all the time you get to know each other Good and ones. you make such good, yeah. you make such good friends that when you're just walking you become like a family yeah yeah, yeah. and also you're working together so you also build a friendship also a professional relationship at the same time mm -hmm. so it works on both hands because you know that kind of two months and you meet people from different regions as well there's so many people from different countries who have met or different um, environments backgrounds who you come across and it's just yeah it's amazing i, I came here thinking because you know before in other schools you sort of just in your own little bubble of your, your group like it would just be us one year but then i, I just see we, we talk to the second years and all the different courses and we feel like it's just all like a huge community within these walls to be able to sit down in a space like this and be able to pick people's brains and everyone's always willing to talk it's, yeah. it's a really beautiful thing you learn so much about things that you might not necessarily apply to your life but it's just you, the lessons that you get are just are just great definitely even if you're being thrown in at the deep end not knowing what you're doing that's sometimes that's the best way to learn and yeah you're getting to work with different departments and different people and learning all these things practically and it's you're putting on a show you know at the end of the day it's like a real world experience it's less you know like a university and more like a training you up for the industry i think a lot of parents see their kids wanting to do creative things when they're at college and wanting to specialise and things like that and that sort of scares them a bit sometimes because they think that there's no opportunities out there for people to work in the industry and it, oh, it, yes it's a tough industry but now especially at the moment there's loads of jobs out there and we're hearing about things all the time and it's really reassuring to know that there will be work when we leave and yeah. we can do something we love and it is a viable career path. If you don't be told that yeah you can do it, you're never gonna know but it's such an, it's such an easy thing to, you just apply and you do it and you, you can get in and do it. It's, mm. it's, it doesn't need to be this very complicated yeah. thing. And when you tell people that are not in drama school about what you do and you hear yourself say it out loud, it's like, well, am I actually doing this every day? That's, that's kind of sick yeah. in the best possible way.